Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophia Pilot into the universe of Chinese. Let's continue our exploration of one new Chinese expression today. And in October, I'm stick with three character Chinese expressions. Today, we're going to talk about chao yu yu. Again, this is a very contemporary Chinese expression. Actually, it got into its popularity in simplified Chinese world in the recent probably 30 or 40 years because it started with Cantonese expression. I mean, as a non-Chinese speaker, probably you would know that Chinese, if we classify Chinese into two main uh, dialects, one is Mandarin Chinese, which means official, officially um, endorsed, therefore, you know, forced, enforced in all public education in China, that's Mandarin, that's what I was taught on, uh, versus Cantonese. Cantonese, they have a strong tie to the past and they have their strong hold of the, the old way of pronunciating, pronunciating and um, it's not pronouncing and um, expressions, not only pronunciation, they're totally different. And also the, the, the way they express things, they have their own distinctive local flavors. Even if they're all, I mean, we're all under the same simplified Chinese roof, but it's a very distinct with two bedrooms. <laughs> um, so chao you yu is one such expression that came from Cantonese dialect and then incorporated into this Mandarin simplified Chinese world. Um, okay, it means somebody got booted, somebody got fired, um, and we use cooking. I mean, Cantonese food is amazing, right? So cooking is a uh, eating and cooking main thing over there. So I'm not surprised that people use this uh, phenomenon of cooking uh, squid fish as a way to indirectly say something because people get fired. It's not something you want to glamorize. It's almost like euphemism, euphemism right? In English, we have, if somebody passed away, we say passed away, we didn't say died directly. Chinese have a, a ton of euphemism regarding death. Um, in this case, regarding um, getting fired. So, instead of saying that directly, people use this food term or cooking term, chao yu yu, to mean get fired. And it almost like make it a little bit comical, funny. So the hurt was not there. People can treat it as a funny situation. Okay, so chao, okay, it's stir fry. I actually check what's the difference between stir fry and salty. In English, we use salty a lot, but as a Chinese, I guess a chao is a stir fry is the main thing. Chinese express chao stir fry with fire, of course. Uh, cooking involves fire, right? So it was depicted over here. It's not exactly fire. It, it has one extra horizontal line, but let's take it as fire. And then shao, that means small portion. So in my understanding, chao means you don't, you don't submerge, you don't submerge food with water or oil. You just lightly put in some oil and um, keep stirring. So the heat was distributed evenly and you don't, um, you don't heavily, you don't heavy handle something. You just cook it until it's good and it's very quick. Um, so I guess that's that's why Chinese like to stir fry. It's it's quick uh, way of cooking, and this this xiao made up of this xiao with one stroke at the bottom. So xiao, I came up with a theory of this is two part, and in the middle, the vertical line is a separation of two parts. So it almost like it cut something in half. So if you have something, that something become half of the original size, and Xiao, even if it's absolute term, but when we quantify something, it's always benchmark against something. That benchmark, we may not say it. It's in relative terms always. So when we talk about xiao, it's in relative to it, its original size. And um, 
this extra stroke probably means it stay that way um, because it's a xiao, it's a smaller than the original. Therefore, logically, it means we don't have enough. It's we're halved in a in a resource of whatever we're doing. So as you can see, this ancient form got this extra halfway shelter thing. Um, it could be one of the renderings uh, in in Chinese um, because I couldn't find the exact looking like this. And you can see here the fire is put in the bottom and the the small or shao like not enough insufficient um, is put on the top. So structurally, it changed a little bit, like the placings at different different uh, locations, but all the elements basic elements are there and there is one extra this this half dome thing so this half dome uh, in the past language uh, different chinese characters with we have seen this structure mostly as it's not a fully private space because it's a fully pri private it will be a full dome if it's half that means it's it's still like a half of the side it's facing outside it's half open door <laughs> basically it, it still have the roof on the top so you're not you okay you're not in the elements of the rain or sunshine but the door the side like one side of the wall is open so you still have fresh air in but you're pretty much away from the net the elements natural elements so in my view here it could mean a kitchen because you want to have good ventilation in kitchen right and then in a kitchen you do this fire thing and you put a little bit of oil that's where where and how you do stir fry <laughs> okay that's chinese saute and then uh yo you you can see both of them share the fish symbol and of course squid was considered a fish i mean Technically, probably was not classified as fish because it doesn't have bones. It has a different structure. It's not a vertebrate um, animal, right? Uh, but Chinese classify them as the same because they're both in water, um, except that it's a soft body water. It doesn't have spine. And you can see the fish, it was depicted as a visual representation of their, this, you can view it as the, the head of the fish. And then this is the scaled, body of the fish and then the tails of the fish. So the main three parts of the fish uh, was captured over there. And here I couldn't find yo in classical Chinese. So I pieced it together. I have the fish on the left side and the right side is yo. It acts as a sound maker, but it also has the meaning of soft body. The soft body came from this one stroke that kind of look like this. <laughs> so it's not a straight line, therefore it's kind of soft. And then have the um, human hand symbol, almost like a human hand, three finger hand symbol on the side with this soft thing coming out here. Um, so together it means the, the boneless uh, structure of that type of fish, which is not a fish, but a squid. Okay, in any case, this is a combination Chinese use to express squid. And saute squid fish look like this. And Cantonese people first used this as a euphemism to mean get fired. The reason why is ancient times when, I mean, not that ancient, I guess ancient enough so that there is employer and employee kind of a contractual relationship but before labor union or before human rights much of that considered people are just out there make a living right so when you're hired by an employer it's not like the western everything already under the labor law to protect both sides uh ancient time is more like whoever gave you money has the upper hand right so not give you, we could pay you money, no, it's not free. Um, so employer, one fire somebody, that employee would roll up the 
blankets or beddings that person came in with. So apparently this higher hiring condition doesn't involve in getting an employee, uh, the beddings or accommodate the living condition. So one person not only bringing their own clothing, but also in bring in their own bedding. So I guess that's just involves a pillow, a blankets or something like your temporarily um, mobile living camp at some employer. It could be a temp worker. So when you get fired, you're going to roll up everything and just leave. That's the old way, the, the original practice. So um, originally the euphemism to, to mean you got fired was used, uh, ex was expressed as you roll up your blankets and implied as you're, get, you're let go. Um, therefore you're rolling up. So instead of now saying the roll up the blanket thing, people are using this squid. The look of the squid fish when it's stir fried is they are going to roll up, they're going to curl up naturally under the heat. And that kind of resembles the look of roll up the, the blanket. And that becomes the euphemism for getting fired. So that's Chinese chao. You, you cash into the currency of thinking by one word a day with Sophie. See you another day.